Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone Welcome back, how are you today? As always, I hope you are feeling great today In the previous video, I have shared two new skills Namely, choosing the answer with synonyms and avoid similar sound If you haven't watched it, you are suggested to watch it before you dive in this video But if you have done, let's begin our show In this video, I will share another strategy to deal with short dialogue of the TOEFL test It is about drawing conclusion about who, what, and then where. From this title, we can clearly see that one of questions that we will get in short dialogue or listening part A of the TOEFL test assign us to conclude who is the speaker, where are uh, the speaker in the conversations, and what they will do after the dialogues, after the conversations. To understand uh, the concept of this strategy, let's study this example. On the recording you hear, can you tell me what assignments I missed when I was absent from your class? You missed one homework assignment and a quiz. The question is, who is the man? In your test book, you will read these four options. Okay? What we have to do is still the same. We have to focus on the second line and then find the keywords. From the second line uh, of this conversation, we can see that the keywords are homework and quiz. So, we have to find someone that is related to homework and quiz. No wonder the answer is between C or D. However, the question asks about the man, the one that gives the homework and quiz. Therefore, the answer is C, a teacher. From this example, we can see that in the short dialogue of the TOEFL task, we possibly have to conclude who is the speaker. Second example, on the recording you will hear, are you going to read those books here in the library? I think I'd, I think I'd rather check them out and take them home. What will the man probably do next? So that's the question. In your test book, you will read these four options. Again, we still have to focus on the second line and find the keywords. From the second line, we can see that the keywords are check them out and tag them home. You can see that. And then them, in this conversation, refer to the books in the library. After we know the keywords, we have to conclude what the speaker will do next. Okay, what will we do after or if we want to take books from the library home? What is it? Yes, we have to go to the circulation desk. Therefore, the answer is D, diamond. Okay, from this example, we can see that in the short dialogue of the TOEFL task, we also possibly have to conclude what the speaker will do after the conversation. Okay, continue to the third example. On the recording, you will hear, are you going into the water or are you just going to lie there on the sand? I think I need to put on some suntan lotions. The question is, where does this conversation probably take place? In your test book, you will read these four options. Again and again, we have to still focus on the second line and find the keywords. From the second line of this conversation, we can see that the keyword is sand and lotions. We also can find the keyword from the first line, namely the sand, okay? After we know the keyword, we have to conclude where are the speakers, okay? We have to find a location that is related to the keyword that is related to the sand and suntan lotions. Where is it? What is, the what, what is the location, I mean? Okay, yes, it is a beach. There, oh, therefore, the best answer is B, at the beach. Okay, again, I have to emphasize that it is common for you to be asked to draw one of the following conclusions in listening part A. Who is probably talking? What will the speaker probably do next? And then where does the conversation probably take place? So these three questions are uh, some common questions that usually appear in the listening part A of the TOEFL test. Okay, let's practice more. Number one, focus on the second line again, okay? From this second line, we can see that the keyword are cashback. The first line also gives us a clue, namely account. So we have to find someone that is related to cashback and account. Therefore, the best answer is B, a bank teller. Number two, okay, focus on the second line and find the keywords. From the second line, we can see that the keywords are, uh, what is it? The next on my list of errands. 
the first line also give us more clue namely deposited a paycheck all right after we know the keywords we have to conclude what the speaker will do next what will we do if we want to deposit our paycheck what is it yes we have to go to the bank therefore the best answer is c go to the bank number three focus on the second line and find the keyword from the second line we can see that the keyword is check out counter we also can find the keyword from the first line namely bread eggs and milk after we know the keyword we have to conclude where are the speakers we have to find a location that is related with bread eggs and milk and also check out counter where is it yes it is in the market therefore the best answer is d diamond okay let's practice more i have five number here and you will listen and do it by yourself and after that i will discuss the answer for you number one do you want to go into the water no thanks i prefer to lie here on the sand where does this conversation probably take place Number one, from the conversation, we can hear some keywords, namely go into the water and lie on the sand. If you didn't listen, you can listen again. Okay, we have to find a location that is related to go into the sand, oh sorry, go into the water and lie on the sand. Therefore, the best answer is C, at the beach. Okay, number two. Number two. What's the assignment for tomorrow's class? You should read chapter 5 and answer the questions at the end of the chapter. Who is the man most likely to be? Okay, number 2. From the conversation, we can hear some keywords, namely assignments, class, and chapter. If you didn't listen, you can listen again. So, what we have to do? We have to find someone that is related to assignment, class, and chapter. It's very clear. Therefore, the best answer is B, a teacher. Okay, continue number three. Number three. Can you tell me how long I can keep these books? You can check them out for two weeks. Where does this conversation probably take place? Number three, from the conversations, we can hear some keywords, namely keep the book and check them out. If you didn't listen again, you can listen the audio one more time. We have to find a location that is related to keep the book and check them out. Therefore, the best answer is A. Number four. Are there many problems with my teeth? I've tried to brush regularly. I see one tooth that needs to be filled. Who is the man most likely to be? Okay, now number four. From the conversation, we can hear some keywords again, namely tooth and brush. It's very easy. If you didn't listen, you can listen again. So, what we have to do? We have to find someone that is related to tooth and brush. Therefore, the answer is obviously C, a dentist. Okay, continue to the last number, number five. Number five. The seatbelt light is flashing. Yes, I think we're going to land soon. Where does this conversation probably take place? Okay, number five, from the conversation, we can hear some keywords, namely seatbelt and land soon. Okay, please listen again if you didn't get it. Okay, so what we have to do? We have to find a location that is related to seatbelt and land soon. Okay, where can we hear uh, those kind of vocabularies? Yes, in the plane. Therefore, the best answer is A, in a plane. Okay, my friends, that's all what I can share in this video. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.